And now for the Q&A. Today's question comes from Scott. Hi, Scott. Scott says, hi, Ethan. I've recently lost about 160 pounds in an effort to get my knee replaced. Nice. Yeah. He says, I'm lifting weights and hopefully building muscle. My question is, you lost a lot of weight, but your skin looks fairly tight still. How long did it take for your skin to come back after weight loss? Did you do anything to help it besides build muscle to fill it in? Well, Scott, what a can of worms you have opened. <laughs> um, well, let me say this first. Thank you so much for saying that my skin looks fairly tight. That is such a nice compliment. Um, my, my own perception of my skin is not that it's fairly tight. It's that it's very loose and saggy. Um, and yes, I had two big surgeries to remove skin. There's one or two pictures of me with my shirt off on my own Instagram or floating around the internet. And if you look very closely, you can see scars that, uh, are just evidence of having skin removed. Skin is an organ. Um, once it grows very, very large, uh, the determining factors on it being either elastically stretched or actually grown to a new point from which it can be elastically stretched are largely determined to, by, by genetics. And also the, the time under tension is a factor here. You know, uh, some pregnant women can, uh, stretch out their abdomens very, very large, have their kid, uh, lose whatever excess baby weight they put on very, very quick. And their skin was only stretched. It did not grow large. And then some women get pregnant and take a little bit more time in getting rid of the baby weight and will have saggy skin in their abdomen. Um, this is the same kind of principles of being overweight. If you're very overweight for a very long time, chances are you're going to have loose and saggy skin. The only thing that will mitigate that is surgery. Um, there's no lotions or minerals or types of diet that are going to reduce the actual skin size. Skin is an organ. Once it, once it has grown large, you have to cut it off to make it smaller. Um, building muscle helps a little bit, but like, um, if you think about, uh, how dense muscle tissue is compared to fat tissue, the amount of muscle you would have to put on to fill up all the loose skin would actually weigh quite a bit more than the fat. So like you lost 160 pounds, you're going to have to put on, you know, 260 to fill that skin because it's smaller. The muscle is smaller than fat. So that's not a great strategy because putting on that much weight at all is going to be unhealthy. Um, so yeah, I have tons of loose skin. I try to hide it as much as I can because I don't like it. I've had some cut off, um, which was brutal. I've done podcast episodes about this and made posts about it on Instagram. Um, but loose skin is is a real thing. Yeah, makes total sense. Yeah, I I, I could send um, Scott actually those podcasts where he talked about it because it's you go so in depth and and you know get so. Um, specific on that. So, okay. Well, Scott, congratulations on your weight loss. And thank you so much for the question. If anyone else has a question for Ethan, you know, you do send it to us at AmericanGlutton.net. 